Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is an updated video because a lot of people are still asking the questions and uh, seem that um, a lot of people don't know that you can fix broken apps with Windows 10 on the April 2018 update and the October 2018 update real easily and it actually works much better than the previous versions in the past when this would happen what would happen is that they would sometimes fix sometimes not I used it this morning to fix my Feedback Hub uh, app because it was kind of broken. It worked perfectly. So if you want to fix one of the apps within Windows 10, simply go to your settings. You go either through the bottom right in the uh, Action Center. You have the Settings button. You can go into the Start menu and go into the Settings gear. There, go into Apps. What you need to do is find, of course, the app that is broken. In my case, it was the Feedback Hub today. And, of course, I used that to fix it easily. Whatever app it is, you just go to your app that is broken. Click on it. There's a Advanced Options. This is only starting April 2018 and October 2018 update that we have these options. Before April 2018 update, that option was not there. So click Advanced Options. Here you will see different options and one of them at the bottom is reset. Simply click the reset button and wait. You'll see that it's going to do something and once it actually has fixed the app, it's going to put a little check mark right next to the reset button. That means it's okay. It's fixed. Go back into the app. Things should be back to normal. One of the things you need to know is that it resets the app to its default. So that means if you logged in with the app into your Microsoft account, you'll need to re-log in again because you'll be, of course, signed out. It's really resetting the app as if you never used it before. You're not going to lose, lose your data. Data still stays there. So, for example, in Groove Music, if you had music, it's still going to be there. It's not removing music. It's just really resetting the app itself. And, of course, a lot of the data that you have in these apps are in the cloud at Microsoft with the Microsoft account. So, you're not going to lose personal data. Really, you're just resetting the app. So once again, go into your settings, again, go into apps, and here, just choose the app that you want to reset. So for this morning, for example, I wanted to reset the Feedback Hub. I went to Feedback Hub, I went to Advanced Options, and I went down, and I, of course, clicked Reset button. It worked perfectly, and my Feedback Hub app is back to normal. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.